Sunday morning, the 29th of May, 2022, 10.30 in the morning, about 75 degrees, U.S. Highway 41 North, coming down the hill and going back up the hill to Lowe's and the Ackworth, to the intersection of Ackworth Due West Road. Lowe's is on the right, go through the red light, uh, Kroger is on the right. We're going to video maybe up to Cedars Road and uh, call it a day today. We're going to be looking for uh, somewhere to, uh, to ride the electric bikes, my son-in-law and I. He has an electric 2.0. And I have that Brad Mini folding and his folds as well. And so we're going to do a comparison. I, said, I think the gears are the same. But the pedal assist, uh, the, you know, the, what gear we're in, what pedal assist we're using, how fast we're going, do that type of side-by-side -side comparison. And both of them are very comparable. Speed, what we uh, found out yesterday, both speed, the gears, pedal assist, everything is pretty even on these bikes. Um, one doesn't appear to be much stronger, if at all, than the other. We're going to make a little detour over right here. Go down behind this Mexican restaurant. See what we can see. This place used to be slap full of life. Used to have groundhogs. It used to have a lot of, used to have a lot of dead pine trees in this little beaver pond. And uh, woodpeckers, hawks, turtles. That's a beaver. To the right and the left, there's a little pond, a little spring, and this is where we caught Quixote Cat. Right there in that little pond there to the right. Used to be slap full of life. There's not much of a pond now, I guess they broke the beaver dam. And this feeds Lake Ackworth, or Ackworth Lake, whatever how they call it. That little spring is one of the, one of the creeks or one of the streams that goes in. It's a minor one. The major one comes in from Ackworth over there to the other side. And right here was pretty much Quixote's home. Had him a little cat house down there in the woods, plastic uh, tote with a lid and had a hole cut in it. And we put uh, tiles and stuff in it. Come feed him every day. Started off once a week, and every other, maybe every other week or so we'd see him, and then once a week, and then it <laughs> this is every day. Uh, this little pond right here, I think it's about dried up. Boy, it was full of life. Frogs, hawks, all sorts of stuff down there. It's a great little wildlife place for photography and just to watch the watch the critters. Everything changes, folks. Nothing stays the same. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, we're going to go, and this is behind the coals. We're going to go back up here and hit 41, and then we're going to work, work our way on north up to about Cedars Road. And, um, Head back over to the daughter's house, with son, daughter and son-in-law, the grandsons, and spend the day with them today. Then get up and go spend the day with son and granddaughter and daughter-in-law tomorrow, maybe, depending on what they're up to. Highway 41 North. Home Depot on the left. 
There used to be a huge flea market out there to the right. Now it's a Target and a bunch of, you know, just a shopping center with all kind of stuff out there. That's a nice little um, wildlife place there to the right there too. Coming up on Mars Hill. Chevrolet is up here on the left. <clears throat> Walmart's on the right. Dave Chevrolet moved from Ackworth, and uh, where it was at over in Ackworth is now housing. Ackworth and Kennesaw, if y'all haven't been through them in, in five or six years, you would not recognize either one of them. If you're thinking about look um, about purchasing an electric bike or somebody know somebody that is, uh, check out these videos this afternoon and this more from what this morning I posted. I think he's going to be very happy with his. He's probably or you know my daughter's probably going to get one. She'll probably get a step through. I'm ha real happy with mine. So. Uh, a lot of people are getting them to commute. You get about 35, 40 miles to a charge, about 40. If your pedal's hung with it, you don't have to pedal. You don't have to use pedal assist. We've got five different levels of pedal assistance, seven different gears. I've had it up to about 20 miles an hour, and that's really as fast as I want to get it. That was going uphill. Crossing over part of Lake Altoona. I know it's a lot of road noise. I've got to get the air conditioning fixed on this van so I can keep the window rolled up. This corner up here is stayed the same for a long time, but it is changing drastically now with the new uh, racetrack. Or I guess it's a racetrack. It's going to be a rather large one. It looks like it may have places for trucks to pull around back. turn around and come back you'll be able to get a better shot and look at it coming back down I may actually turn in and drive around it that's one thing about being in this in this van it's a construction van you can go in construction sites where people would normally run you off they think you're there to work they know what you're up to for the life of me I don't know why people think they need to play music so loud but they do so they they do So we're going to turn around up here at Cedars Road and go back down to Highway 92. Yeah, that intersection back there is Georgia 92. We'll be turning right, which will be south. Okay, now we are headed back south on 41. We'll turn right on 92 south. And then we may loop into that new gas station there. 
just to let you see it before it gets finished and we will have during and after not before well we make I'm, yeah we do we'll grow we'll, we have before on this corner on a video somewhere <laughs> and turning left traffic here sometimes you know when it's busy it is you know backed up forever down through there Are you, just like so many of these other places I go, there used to be nothing down through here. This was out far. Let's see if we can sort of turn in and let y'all take a look here. Well, we're going to get sort of messy going down through there. We're not going to be able to quite make it. We'll have to go back this other way. We might get to make a 180 right here. Yeah, nobody's coming to that's unusual right here. For us to be able to make a 180. Okay, we ought to be able to get in here. Yeah, we'll be able to get in here and let you see. Well, you know what? You don't need to see it. you already seen it, haven't you? Okay, that'll end this. End my silliness too. So y'all have a great Sunday and a great Memorial Day tomorrow. I'll try to get some more of the uh, road trip videos up maybe tonight or tomorrow.